What's going on, family? Thank y'all for joining me on another episode of Abandoned Voices. Got one of my good homeboys, somebody I've been knowing for a bunch of years now. Go by the name of Junior Mac. <laughs> but his government is, <laughs> his government is Edward Bowen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on, Eddie? What's happening, baby? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's going on, bro? What's on your mind, bro? Yeah, that's <laughs> it, man. I got, I got a lot on my mind. I'm <laughs> <Not> just tripping. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wow. Ain't that yeah. too, bro. Ain't that too, dog. We, we were talking about uh, the, the homeboy Colin Kaepernick. And I was like, uh, talking about how I used to hate him, you know, when I first, you know. Well, I had I'm, I'm going to let you know right now, this. my boy, it would go deep. <laughs> Sometimes it's so deep, where well, I'd be, I don't know. But he go deep, man. man go deep. Deeper than Atlantis. <laughs> Look, we gonna, we going to start right here. Tell me about this social security uh, thing you told me about on the phone a while back. Oh, with about, the social security? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, well, basically, it's like this here. Um, like to say it happened around, started around 1929 when they introduced the um, social security card and the birth certificate. And these were ways to uh, create bonds on you. This is a, a stock bond, all right? And uh, so basically, at the your uh, social security number is an account number to a federal bank account. And on the back of your uh, social security card, there's a, there's a number, there's you know, a series of numbers. But in front of the, num the numbers are, is a letter. And that letter would identify with a certain federal bank. There's like a list of federal banks. And it uh, identify with a certain federal bank and it goes to that, you use that, um, It'll show you that federal bank's routing number. You use the routing number and your social security number as the account number, which is, it is the account number. So I can take my social security card and pay some bills with it? Yeah, you oh, use, right. that, use that through a PayPal, you link it to a PayPal account, you know, because it's your money, you know. It really is your money. It's not illegal, it's nothing, you know, it's your money because the, really the, the government is doing something illegal. It's like your birth certificate. You can call them, and you can call the um, the United States Bank of Commerce and uh, renounce your birth certificate. And do what to your birth certificate? Renounce it. Renounce. Basically, you letting them know, hey, I know that y'all been using my birth certificate as a bond and taking money off of me. You know, basically, you're an employee of the United States Service Corporation. You know what I mean? So. By, it's like you're working, you're a slave. You know, they just, um, they transferred the slaves into everybody. <laughs> That's what all they did. They, you know, they, they nationwide the slaves, you know. So everybody is a slave. You know, you have a birth certificate. That's why when a child is born in a hospital, they would not let that child leave that hospital without getting a birth certificate. Now, you can tell them, you know, you can fight against it, you know, because people of uh, with nationalities don't have to get, uh, get a birth certificate, the United States birth certificate, because it won't, uh, they're not, uh, it, say like this, there's two different things of a United States citizen and an American, there's a, there's a difference between the two. And, uh, like United States citizen and, uh, and, American. and American. Yeah, there's a difference. You know, we always said these words synonymously. They use them congruently, like they mean, meant the same thing, you know. Which we all, you know, we all been brainwashed with this because we all said the same thing at the same time. But basically, uh, it ain't the same thing, you know. A United States citizen is anyone who came here who is not indigenous or Aboriginal to the land, you know. Basically, all uh, so-called black people, you know, melanated people. Who are here in America? Ninety percent, I'll say, a little bit more than ninety percent of us are from here. The other ones might have came from Africa, but you know that's why you know America in the uh, Webster Dictionary in the Webster Dictionary from eighteen uh, eighteen twenty three. It says uh, the definition of an American is brown skin, copper skin people. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we that's why that's why we, we look different from Africans in Africa. If you ever noticed, you know, if you ever looked at, you know, black people here in America, so-called black people, because we got to stop 
saying that word because that's a it. You know, that's what, a, black people. Yeah, black, black. Um, if you read the thirteenth, the Thirteenth Amendment, basically what it says is if you uh, identify as black, African American, Negro, any one of these things, you're protected by the Thirteenth Amendment, right? Right. Cool. You know, it sounds great. But if you keep reading, you understand that that means your chattel property of the Roman Catholic Church. So, so are you know, saying black people are uh, properties of the Roman Catholic, Catholic Church. Church? Yeah, because black, uh, black African American, you know, that has nothing to do with no land, no culture. Um, even people from Africa, they don't say I'm African. They say I'm Ghanaian. Or uh, 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 Botswana, or uh, 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 you know, whatever the, the, the nationalities. They got Buku nationalities in Africa. No one says I'm African from Africa. They just say where they're from in Africa, their nationality. Right, from there. people outside saying the African. Yeah, you know, they they use that on us. They keep, you know, they change us, give us different names every 25 years. You know, we the only group of people that get a different name every 25 years. What do you mean by that? You know, say it like this. Um, during the period of Reconstruction, uh, during slavery, they had the period of Reconstruction. And this is what people got to do. They got to take the emotion out of, when you talk about history of slavery, everybody, you know, want to get emotional. They don't, you know, take the emotion out of it. Just look at it for what it is and understand it. That way you could digest it and understand the truth of it. Because we've been fed a, lot, a whole bunch of lies. But basically, you know, People, have you ever wondered why they didn't allow the slaves to read? Uh, I used to think they didn't want the slaves to read because, you know, maybe they'd communicate and escape or yeah, do something. Yeah, get, get you know? smarter and yeah. learn that they'd be in you. Yeah, and, you, know, you, know, you know, yeah. But not. Nah, what it was is because during that time, they was changing your name from a Moor to an African or a Black or that or a Negro. And back then, you would have known it. You would have been able to pass down that knowledge to your children and tell them, hey, uh, they trying to say we black or whatever. We're not, we're Moors. You we, know? We're what? Moors? We're Moors. What is that? Moors, more, um, it's like this, uh, how can I say? If you Google black, you know, uh, African American or black, and you you know you go all the way back to maybe the Marcus Garvey, you know what I mean? Because that's what you know so-called Black history. But if you Google more, which is who we are, and it's like Moabites, Canaanites, Israelites, um, Hem, you know, um, um, the, the, um, basically we all migrated together. The, the, the Moors. Um, the different pronunciation, different spellings of it is M U U R S, M O O R S. Uh, even your name, Morris, is a Morris name. Maurice is a Morris name. Douglas is a Morris name. All these names are Morris names. I never knew that either. I, you know, I, I was reading this book from this guy, uh, this dude named uh, what's his name? Guy Richard? No, not Guy Richard. Uh, something Richard. Oh, I can't think of his first name. But anyway, uh, this is European guy from uh, the early 1800s. And he was just writing on what he saw, observed during that time. There's no emotions. There's no uh, 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 feelings of, you know, he just writing facts, you know. And the way he was writing of the people and what the people would call, it said like this here. The uh, when you hear the uh, the national, what is that? Not the national anthem. It's the uh, uh, down on the triple. Uh, what is that? that? What is that? That's the uh, the marine song or something. But the marines do sing that song. So yeah, right. I think it's the marine the song. Branches. But if you listen to that song, it tells the true story of everything like you know it, you know basically like you know they were paying tribute to the moors over there in uh in, in uh morocco america is morocco it was owned by morocco at the time you know uh and Amer america means i'm i'm moroccan i'm moroccan i'm moroccan of, of, of another word of morocco you know it was the moor 
ones who's doing business from here, from Spain to here until um, Queen Isabella and uh, Fernand, what is it, Fernando Fernandez got married, hooked up St. Christopher Columbus over here and stuff, you know, when they overtook the Moors in Spain, you know. But when they did that, that's when they got the maps to the, the so-called New World. And uh, Christopher Columbus was coming over here to so-called destroy Jerusalem and get gold. You know, but what happened was he didn't find any gold when he first came here. He found us. You know, us. You know, I guess Moors yeah, or black people. You know, us. Yeah, you, you know, us Moors. But at the same time, uh, we hadn't saw Europeans at that time because they had never. Um, at the time, Europeans were slaves, so. You know, they, they they never ventured out past um, Europe. You know, they you know we had just you know the uh, the Moors had took them out of the uh, the Dark Ages two or three times. You know what I mean? Brought them into the uh, the period of Renaissance. You know, all that. You know, the Moors did that. You know, um, man, it, it's it's so deep. <laughs> it, it said like this: if, if so-called black people would read. And uh, you know, understanding have, history. You know we have a problem with reading. Oh yeah, we, you know that, that's why they, you know, they put all your business right there in the books because they know you won't read it, so they put it right there. All you gotta do is read it, man. If you read the uh, the Constitution, it's gonna tell you who you are. Barack Obama in 2011 signed the Aboriginal Indigenous Act for every so-called black sign person. What did he sign? The Aboriginal Indigenous Act, and basically what it is is. For you to get your nationality, there's only two groups of people in America that can get their nationality, and that's Mexicans <laughs> and the so-called black people. But black people constantly calling themselves black, African American, you know, until they understand that they're not from Africa, that they're from America, and that this is their birthright. This is where they're from. Even on the parishes, just pay attention. You got Washita Parish and all these parishes that's named after Indians. If this was really ran by, if this was so-called, uh, the Europeans had established this before us, they wouldn't let this be named after you because you're the so-called Indians. Why would they leave that name to you? That's because we turned the government over to them and they killed Abraham Lincoln in the coup, you know, the... The, the, I would like to say the dirty Europeans because what they had in mind was, you know, um, to Watch further um, oppress ahead. people and stuff. Whereas, whether it's the Moors that was already here was trying to help the Europeans out of slavery from, you know, the Britain. You know, they'll tell you, you know, they was enslaved by the Britons, but they won't tell you that the Britons was blacks, so-called black people. They were called the brutish Moors. You can Google that. You can look that up. Don't say it like this. You ain't got to believe what I say. <laughs> yeah, just look it up. Why would they believe you? You're don't black, believe me. I'm just like, I don't know. Black man. I just, uh, you know, believe you. don't believe me. What? Look it up. <laughs> and that's what I did. You know, I, I used to hear people say, it's like, um, I, I used to listen to Umar, Farrakhan, and them, and which I like those guys. You know, they have a, a good purpose, but I can't listen to them no more. And I can't listen to them no more because they know who you are. And instead of telling you who you are, they'll have you running in a circle. Basically because that's how they get their money. You know what I mean? This is how they stay, you know, keep their careers afloat or whatever. But Dr. Umar Johnson kind of strange. Yeah. I don't know. saying like this, Umar, you know, wants to start a school and stuff for black remember, kids remember and all this and that. Stuff. Which you know, which his intentions are great. That is good and very noble. But do you know if you got your nationality, the government automatically hooks you up with the money for that. You ain't even got to raise the money for the school. You get your nationality, say it like this. If, just say a good group, it don't have to be every um, so-called black pe people in America. It could be 30% of us, less than half, get their nationality. And they will get... You know the the funds from the government to you know to start their schools to have their own communities, but they won't tell you this. 
They would rather have you march and do all this and that. Man, you ain't got to do none of that. Get your nationality. You can sit at home. You ain't got to. You ain't got to huff and puff. It's like the. Um, it's like driving right now. You know, like right now, how we ride. The way they get so-called blacks a lot in um, in life, in the traps of life is, you know, you drive. You know, put black people. You know, you might have attachments, tickets, or whatever. But. There's a so-called thing called the Right to Travel Act. It's almost like the, the right to bear arms. So if you had the Right to Travel Act, like under the Right to Travel Act, which is basically saying to drive is not a, it's not a, it's, you know, they try to tell you like driving is a privilege. It's not a privilege. It, you know, it, it's my fundamental right. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's my, it's, it's my liberty. It's, you know, you can't tell me I can't travel. When they invented the, when they invented the car, they didn't invent the driver's license with it. They didn't invent the brake tag with it. You know what I mean? Right. They didn't invent all these things with it. These things came later. You know, like in the, in the, in the 30s and the 40s. You know what I mean? Man. Really later than that, like in the 50s when they, you know, started incorporating all these things, trying to get money off of you. You know, this is all. You know, and if they took all this money that they, you know, so-called from tickets to people, who, who people get tickets every day. Your, t your streets is mess still messed up. Why your streets ain't beautiful? All this money they're taking from you. All this money, so you know. Man, I want to know. I, I could pay my life bill with my social security card. <laughs> well, basically, <laughs> say it like this, here, my brother. You would um, you can YouTube it. There's uh, cause I saw. Say it like this. When I first heard of it, it was a uh, Taj Tariq Bay. This Morris brother was talking about, it. and he was running it. And he was like, um, don't believe me. He's like. Because when a, when, a, when, a, when, a, when a melanated brother tells you this type of stuff, nobody believes it until European tells you. And then right afterwards, I saw Buku. <laughs> I saw uh, look like a little college white chick. You know, she's she talking about it. Then this other guy, white dude, talking about it. I'm like, damn, you know, now it's all over the place. You know what I mean? And there's more European talking so about it than black people. It's, it's a, a certain limit? No, there's no limit. It's like um, basically, you know, I like to say it's, almost, it's like a billion dollars down there. You know what I mean? It's like unlimited. It's like, you know, yeah. It's like unlimited. You know, but you pay y'all, you just hook it up and just pay all your bills through it. Through a PayPal I mean, that, account. That, that, don't, that don't sound legal though. Yeah, it don't sound legal, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But it is, you know. I mean, I, 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 I don't have to work in that. Yeah. I just live there and yeah. just. Exactly, exactly. Well, I'm saying like this, the government is. The government, this is illegal anyway because they're only supposed to be governing their people. You know what I mean? Right. When you understand, that's why, you know, uh, when you get the, you know, the racist Europeans that, you know, be like, you know, my country, my country type stuff. You know, you gotta understand why they say that because it's their government that's being ran. The United States, quote unquote, is theirs. We're not part of the United States, you know what I mean, quote unquote. You know, we're Americans. And we, you know, should govern our own selves. If you get your own nationality, you govern your own self. Even if police was to stop you or arrest you, they couldn't even bring you in. They would have to turn you over to your own people. Look at that. All oh, this is legal. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you know, you know, if people don't understand these things, and you always gotta understand the letter of the law and the severity of words that they really do mean you know when you see the united states written in capital letters it means something different than it was written in lowercase letters and then it's like the american flag you know or, which is not the american flag it's the united states banner it's not even really a flag you know it's what they say in the song it's a star spangled banner right, it's a, right. for the Mer it's for them to go into the water you know for maritime you know what i mean it's like it's like play, it's like when they got mad with Kyle and Kaepernick for ple um, kneeling, you know, not pledging allegiance to the um, flag. Well, he shouldn't have to because he's an American. Yeah, 
United States citizens have to pledge allegiance to the flag. You understand what I mean? Right. You would have, you know, you know, y'all pledging allegiance. I don't have to pledge allegiance. I'm from here. My blood, this is my land. You know what I mean? This is, you know, I'm Aboriginal. I'm, a, I'm indigenous to this land. You know, I'm ancient to this land. This, you know, all our people is from this land. So, I, you know, I don't have to pledge allegiance to nothing. I am from here. I, you know, but if you're not from here, then you would have to pledge allegiance. Yeah. I mean, but you know, people need to understand, you know, and this ain't nothing to be, uh, you know, angry, you know, it shouldn't stir emotion, it should th stir you to think and read. Just, right. you know, think and read. Just read. You know, I bought two, um, two black law dictionary books. Um, black law dictionary yeah, books? Yeah, yeah, man, because what's in it is like this here, um, it's words. It, it show you the true legal definition of words, it's like person. You know, there's a different there's a different definition definition to persons in a black law dictionary. You know what I mean? There's a different definition. Uh, well, black man, black don't even mean dark. It means pale and shiny. Man, Trump will hit nothing about your black law dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember remember when Trump was talking about your girl? What her name, man? Uh, Maxine Waters. No, 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 no. The other, the white chick he kept calling her uh, Pocahontas. The uh, the white lady was she was saying uh, I'm a I'm a Native American. Uh, man, what this white lady name? Mm -hmm. And she was going hard on it, man. I can't even think of her name. Angela something. No, not Angela. I forgot her name, man. But anyway, it's kind of funny because I didn't think you know at the time I didn't you know I was unaware, so I wasn't you know knowing my history. And uh, but you know Trump know the history. And Trump was like, this is it, you know, because the lady called herself a, you know, uh, an Indian. And he's like, no, you're not. <laughs> and Trump's like, no, you're not an Indian, Pocahontas. And then when you think that Indians really are technically, we, you know, quote unquote black people, <laughs> that what makes it funny. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? It's the, um, but it ain't that. She's being dishonest. She's being lied to too, you know. Cause back then there was this thing that went out when they gave the Indians the land, you know. Um, and those Indians, quote unquote, aren't really. Those are Mexicans. See, what they don't understand is back then America was like called El Mexico. El Mexico. El A E A M E X E M. A Mexico. Back so far. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, they say it like this: they they don't teach you this in school. You know what I mean? Because if they teach you this in school, it would empower you. Then you would uh, your reality is your frame of mind. Right, right. So if you if your mind is framed and is enslaved, and you're just listening to uh, it, it's like uh, when. Uh, James Brown came out with "I'm Proud to Be Black" and all these songs. You know what I mean? Which are great because it was, in, it, it, it was it was it was to empower us in a sense. But at the same time, it was bad because we were calling ourselves black, and we didn't even understand that. Hey, we we don't black has no culture. It has no land. It has nothing. You know, and you got to find out who you are. And we don't. Even, you know, we so um, um, in a fog, so um, in a bubble. That you don't even think, you don't even think that far. That hey, you know what? You just think you're from Africa, you know. Which technically every human is from Africa. Everybody on the earth is from Africa. You can trace everybody on this planet genealogy back to Africa, you know. So that's why you know. Eh? But people, you know, they they stealing your birthright. You don't understand it. And all you have to do is claim who you are. Say who you are. Understand it's not a religion. It ain't got nothing to do with religion or culture or anything like that. It's like um bet you didn't know in nineteen before nineteen forty India was called Hindustan. Hindustan? Hindustan. No and idea. Now think of this. The people of India are called Hindus. Right? They're not, they were never called Indians or Indias or Indians or whatever. They were all call, always called Hindus, you know. 
it was called Hindustan. China was called Mongolia. See, they wouldn't run they changed the names of a lot of things because it that a disoriented that you know it it changed the um the lock to the answer you know what i mean like you could unlock an answer you know if you knew certain things and certain things started making sense to you you know um it's like the bible the bible you know the the bible technically is not a holy book the bible is a history book but everything is talking in allegories. It's like there's a, uh, 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 a proverb or something now where they talk about how the the sea was spread and it was red and full. You know. Well, see, what if they was talking about at the time the whole continent, the whole planet was one continent. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And the, and. It was during that was when the continent when it started breaking and splitting because of the volcanic eruptions where you get lava into the sea. You know, because the Bible is a lot of allegories, you know. It ain't that the Bible is not right. It's it's the way they're telling it, they're not giving you the answer straight up. I'm not telling you straight up what happened, per se, but I'm telling it to you in a different way, you know. And you gotta decipher it like that, you know. And when you understand that the Bible is talking about you this whole time, you know, you know, Canaanites, Moabites, Israelites, Moors, who moored the oceans, who came, you know, who came over. And at the time, the oceans wasn't that big. It wasn't like it was vast like it is now. It was because the continents was closer. And they want you to think that the continents split like millions of years ago. Nah, that was maybe closer to maybe less to a hundred thousand you know what I mean it's something that'll blow your mind this is like today man I just man you know we NASA just hired a planetary uh what they call it uh protective they keep on finding planets and let me tell you something what, what they hire a planetary protective a planetary protective what is that somebody, somebody protect, protect the, the planet, planet? <laughs> Because they know something. Man, say it like this. You know, I'm going to tie all this together. During the period of Reconstruction, when they were changing our names and who we all were and stuff, they were destroying five, they were destroying all our books. Every, all the books was written by the Moors because black people are ancient race. So you've been writing. You had libraries. You had, you know, you had vast knowledge. They basically said they set you back a thousand years, okay? So if you think you're advanced right now and all your books were destroyed, so they set you back. And that's what's in the Vatican right now. What's in the Vatican is the copies to those books. You know, the original transcripts to all those books. It's like surgeries and, and how to uh, the, the, how to make the, the tools for the certain surgeries and this and that stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there. You know what I mean? And it's from you. And it would empower you. Because if, and this is to all black people, you know, so-called black people. <laughs> if you were so violent, so bad, you know, and I was, you know, you don't know that this has been perpetrated against you, that you've been programmed to this life, you know what I mean? That you've been a socially engineered just this to way. Act violent, act well, yeah, well, I ain't gonna say just to act violent because I think it's more of human nature that violence is gonna happen regardless. I just think that the whole talk of black on black crime is a distraction whereas in China you don't hear them talk about Chinese on Chinese, Chinese crime, crime. Exactly. you don't hear Mexican talking about Mexican on Mexican, Mexican crime. crime you don't hear this talk but they you know they if you knew that back in 1969 that uh what is his name Nixon had this war when he had you know against the hippies and us because we was marching against you know the Vietnam war and what he did was he criminalized marijuana so he can get the hippies off the streets and then he put heroin in the black communities and then put black people, he, he, and this was out his mouth. He was like, I'm going to start the news with them and end the news with them. So every time you see, you know, and look at the news now. Just look at it. It's still going on. It still goes on, man. Hey, I ain't saying that it don't happen, that, you know, violence and stuff don't happen. Nah, I'm just saying it happens on both accounts, on both fronts. It just shows that they just uh, promote it differently with us. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? It's heavily promoted. So now it's burned in your brain. And you thinking that you're a violent, wicked animal or something. You this and that. You know you're not. You're not a violent, wicked animal. You're not going around killing all the animals, making things go extinct. You're not burning away the ozone layer. You're not trying to destroy the earth. You're not, not, you're not doing these things because it's not in you. You don't have to teach a dog how to be a dog. Just don't mess with the dog. He won't bite you. Right. You know what I mean? It, there's certain things in life that people got to understand how, you know. But at the same time, it's like... Um, just don't mess with the dog and the dog won't they bite won't, you. Dog won't bite you, man. <laughs> Just don't mess with it, man, you know. But at the same time, you know, your problem isn't that. If you knew who you were, you wouldn't even be involved in the stuff that gets you in that. You know what I mean? Because then your mind state changes. It's like mine. I never cared about none of the stuff that I got into, man. I, you know me. You know who I was when you first met me. Right. You know what I mean? And shit, all I did was play my video games and, and listen to rap and shit. You know what I mean? But now I'm like, well, look, I'm reading a lot. I buy a lot of books. And the books that I buy, after I buy it, the next thing I know, man, the book is hard to, they took the price off the book. They auctioned it off the book now. Now, why are they doing that? Because they don't want you to understand Get something. Power. Yeah, you know, power. knowledge is power. They always told you that. Exactly. You know what I mean? And it's the truth. It is power because it would empower you. It would, you know, you. The final chains of slavery is on the mind. It's your mind because you've been indoctrinated through school. You know, school taught you how to be uh, a good American and white supremacy. And when I say this, this ain't to be like racist or angry or bigotry, not, no, but it is what it is because it's teaching you nothing but European history that's been fabricated and twisted, whereas they ain't showing you nothing that Moors did ever, and you did everything. You made the language, you made alphabets, I mean, math, geometry, astrology, everything, everything, spices, Food, how to do smack, everything. everything. You did everything. <laughs> you did everything, but you don't know that you did everything. And hey, and I ain't saying that the Europeans didn't do anything. No, they did. But you did, but what they do, it's they took it. your math and invented stuff, which ain't nothing wrong with that. That's cool. But just, uh, you know why? Like, give, you me know, my, give me my props. Yeah, it's, I did. You know it's just like I heard one of these uh, um, politicians, one of these senators talking about black people ain't never did nothing, this and that. I'm like, well, you're kind of ignorant. You don't know history either. You know, that just goes to show you on both sides how people have been brainwashed. Right. And this is, oh. you know, yeah, this ain't just done to um, people of color. This is right. done to, you know, the world, you know, right. basically. But even in America, more so. You know, because people are pitted against each other and we all in the same boat. You know what I mean? Uh, Europeans just as poor as I am, but you voting for, for Trump and hoping, and he rooting for the top 1%. <laughs> he don't give a damn about you. Right. But you, you know. It's kind of like I would look at it as the way they see it is, is rich and poor. They don't see color. Yeah. That's all they see is green. Yeah, man. I mean, black, it, white. It's very, it's very selfish for the people who. and. See, people got to hold people accountable because everybody who support Trump and lie for Trump, they should pay a political price. Everyone. Every last one of man, them. Being, being, a, being a Trump supporter, like a diehard Trump man, supporter, you got to be hard. Now, you, can't, you shouldn't be able to... See, I like how they look in the mirror. I, I, I got, so, you know, I man, you have like, a... I mean, you got like a friend, you. my bad, I don't want to cut you off, but you know me, you got a friend <laughs> that's a hardcore Trump don't supporter. Don't say the name. I, I ain't going to say his name, but, and, and, I, and I feel for him, because I know he, you know, in his heart, he, it ain't, he ain't got hate in his heart, the reason why he's supporting him. Right. He's supporting, you know, say it like this, what people got to understand is, the reason why a lot of um, Europeans support Trump is because they feel like, you know, you know, hey, you know, Barack became president, everything, the world changes. You know, you got a black president, you got gays getting married, you know, and all this and that, you know, everything changes. You know, Find you somebody know. to blame what was already happening on. No yeah, <laughs> but, hey, no matter what, the world's going to change. Uh, let, you know, you're holding the past, man, let go of it, it's hurting your hand right now. You know what I mean? It ain't the 50s no more. It ain't the 40s. And, and to be honest with you, uh, slavery was only 80 years, too. 
You know what I mean? So people get away with that it's 400 right, years but, of slavery stuff because you wasn't in slavery for 400 I, I, years. I feel like, uh, like you know, slavery, not, not so much slavery, uh, like racism. This might be... Racism, stupid. It, it's it's kind of like, itself. I think that it's crazy, but like with the next, I would say 15, 20 years, something like that, with technology and the more interracial relationship and stuff, it seemed like it, that era of people gonna die off. Yeah, well, those people. And when they are. die off, it's kind of different because younger people are not as bad as older people. No, see because the people that age. It's kind of like with social media, like, everybody can see now. Mm -hmm. But back then, like you say, even just like we was tricked, they was tricked they too. They too. So and, you know, when that, you know, Trump era, them old people, nothing bad about when yeah. they ever die off. See, next fifty years, we want it probably won't be as bad. Nah, because it won't of, be as bad. It'll be better for them because like you can't tell an old person. I mean, I mean, come on, man. Trump, see, like, Seventy-one they, years old. I mean, and really? dude, they're saying like the, the stuff that they believe in. The um, say it like this, man. I don't like all the new stuff. I don't like dudes in skinny jeans and stuff like that. But hey, time to change it. It's what it is. Right. You know what I mean? And Trump supporters are more like this here. They they are fearful of the future. You become a diplomat within your own land. You know, you just gotta understand there's a lot of legality to this. You know what I mean? If a policeman imagine if a policeman killed a diplomat. Think of that. That is different. Because that's what you are when you get your nationality. You become a diplomat. Bam. A noble. You know what I mean? We were noble, you know. Yeah, you're right. About All right, E, bro. Man, it's been good, bro. It's been deep. I got my black history schooling for the day. Yeah. Probably enough for the week. <laughs> Not hate, educate. <laughs> it was uh, yeah. <laughs> No hate, educate, son. All right, man. Be good, I'm man. I'm on that, All right, be good, man. Got it. Thank y'all for watching that episode of Abandoned Voices. I'm still trying to wrap my head around some of that. But anyway, stay tuned because I have a bunch of more conversations on the way. Thank you.